What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how to both remove and replace the clip that holds the water pipe to the thermostat housing. I'm going to be using some old footage that I shot a while ago for Instagram, but it's good footage. Uh, one thing I didn't do in this footage is explain how to remove it. I just showed you me removing it, but in the video it absolutely explains how to put it back in, but I'm going to explain how to remove it right now. The way it's shaped, you'll see it in this video, it's kind of like a wishbone. And it's got a little, a little, this one little spot on the top that you can see when you look in there. And you'll see it in this video. You just reach in and you grab the top of that clip, that's the part that's sticking up, and pull it towards the firewall. If it doesn't come off easily, you're pulling the wrong direction. Don't pull, try to pull it straight up. Try to rotate, almost like you're, like it's on, it's round like this. You're just going to try to rotate it around, but it can't rotate because the bottom of the clip is hitting. So the top part has no choice but to come off. And it just, it slides right off. You'll see. It takes me, it takes me a matter of seconds to remove it. And it's, I mean, it's a little longer to put it back on just because you have to find the slot, but it goes back on in reverse order. So let's go ahead and watch this video. Before we get to that video, actually, um, no matter which Mini Cooper you drive, um, check out my Facebook group. It's called Mini Cooper DIY. And if you're watching this video on how to remove and replace that clip, you're working on your own car, your own Mini Cooper. So you're going to want to check out that group. So check it out. I'll put a link in the description, or you can just go to Facebook and type in Mini Cooper DIY. And also, I wanted to give a, a shout out to Speed Tech Motorsports for sending me this sweatshirt. Um, in fact, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a, a, a video in. I'll, I'll edit a video in where I show the sweatshirt off. I can't really show it off where I'm sitting right now, but I have some older footage that I'm gonna I'm gonna add into it. Everybody always wants to talk about how hard it is to get the little clip off of the water pipe when you're replacing the thermostat housing or the water pipe. Well, I'm replacing my water pipe right now. Watch for that video, but I'm gonna show you right now how easy that clip is. Hold on. See, it's, there's nothing to it. It's that simple. All right, I showed you how easy it was to take this clip out. Now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to put it back in. And there it is. Let's see if I can get a shot of it for you. As you can see, it's in there. It's, it's not really that hard. Once you put the first part, the part towards the firewall, into the groove. You just make sure that the that part is all the way at the bottom and the back part put that in the groove and rotate it back while keeping the front part pushed down and it just clips right in it's not that it's not hard what's up everybody i just wanted to give a shout out to speed tech motorsports for sending me this sweatshirt check it out it's got the mini logo it says cooper s it says cooper s on the hood has the Speed Tech Motorsports logo on the back. It's a pretty nice sweatshirt. Uh, you can check it out at speedtechmotorsports.com. They have these for sale. They also have the JCW ones, and they have another style coming out for the big turbo kits. So give them a check out at uh, speedtechmotorsports.com or speedtechmotorsports on Instagram. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs down, and I'll catch you in the next video.